everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I got a brand new mouthful of veneers. And I am here to spill the tea on everything that you need to know. So I did host a little Q&A on my Instagram and I asked all of my followers to send in questions so that I can make all of my responses specific to you guys. And I just want to know what you guys want to know about veneers. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Question number one is who did your veneers? So my dentist was the amazing Andreina Hattiva and she is based in Miami, Florida at New Face MD. And I, first of all, I just have to put in a couple words about New Face MD. I love this place because it's like a one-stop shop for everything fun. Um, they do Botox, fillers, non-surgical nose jobs, PDO threads, um, a couple surgical procedures as well. And they are a husband and wife team. So Andreina is the wife. She's the dentist, so she does all of the dental, cosmetic dental work. And then her husband does all of the fun stuff, so he's the cosmetic surgeon and he's board certified. And I'm hoping to do some stuff with him as well, so stay tuned on that. All right, question number two. Did it hurt? And this is probably my most common question. Everybody's asking if there was any pain involved. No, there wasn't. The only thing is that, okay, Dr. Hativa is very dedicated. She looked at my teeth and she was like, this is exactly what you need. She didn't sugarcoat anything. She told me what I needed to do. So if you look closely at my gums, they are aligned now. But before, I had crooked gums to the point where like my teeth looked a lot smaller in certain areas because the gums were lower on some teeth but not others. That made my teeth look crooked even though I've had years of braces and Invisalign. So she did do this thing called a gingivectomy and that is where they remove part of the gums just to even it out. Um, that didn't hurt at all. The only thing was when they injected the numbing stuff, anesthesia, it hurt for like two seconds. It was just like a little pinch and then they trimmed my gums off. That was the only pain I experienced for the whole thing. And that has nothing to do with veneers. So if you're looking at veneers, I don't think you're gonna really experience any pain at all. The next question is, is it true that they shave your teeth down? So there's the porcelain veneers and they cost a ton of money. I think the cheapest you can get it for is like $800 per tooth or even more, I'm not sure. It's just ridiculously expensive. I didn't do that. I got the composite ones. Um, so with the porcelain veneers, yes, most dentists will shave your teeth down into little picks um, and then put the porcelain veneers on top. I did have a conversation with Dr. Hatiba about this because I was a little bit concerned um, with the options because I was considering the porcelain. She is very, very conservative when it comes to that, so she does keep the majority of your tooth and she'll just put a porcelain cap on top. If you want to learn more about that, go ahead and visit her Instagram because you can see both types of veneers going on. I chose the composite because you don't really notice the difference and I feel like everyone throws shade on the composite veneers because they're cheaper and they don't last as long. Um, but honestly, you guys, I'm obsessed with my teeth and I'm really happy with my decision. So we'll get more into that later in this video. But to answer this question, um, for the composite, no, they do not shave your teeth at all. They just put a thin layer of the composite veneers on top. Um, and then for the porcelain veneers, again, it depends on who you go to. Um, the one that I went to does not do any aggressive shaving on the teeth. She just takes a little bit off just to put that little cap on top. The next question is, does it feel foreign in your mouth? I can't really describe it. It doesn't feel foreign but it does take a little bit of getting used to. I got these done almost a week ago and they feel like a normal part of my mouth. They didn't feel bulky or anything like that. Honestly, if you've had braces before or if you wear Invisalign, it's like way less than that. It just has like a little bit of a coat on top, but nothing ridiculous. And honestly, I can't stop smiling, so I'm not even mad about it but they don't feel foreign at all. Okay, so the next question is, is there any downtime involved? Um, no, not at all. The whole procedure takes less than a day to do it from start to finish, at least for the composite, which is what I did. And I literally just walked out of there. The only thing was that I couldn't drink anything dark colored for like three days if I did, which I did accidentally have coffee. You just want to rinse your mouth out right after you finish drinking it and then it'll be fine. It's just to avoid any staining on your teeth because it's just fresh on there. And the last question is, is how long do they last so the composite veneers last about five to eight years and I did have two composite veneers on these two teeth before I got these ones and I had them on for about six years and they were still going strong um, and the reason why I had those was because my teeth grew in very thin just on these two 
So after I had braces just to fill them out, they put that composite cap on top to make my teeth look bigger. Um, and yeah, it was six years old and they were still looking great. Like the color stayed the same. My teeth got yellow, so it was looking a little bit off when I had the white composite veneers with like the yellow teeth, um, which is natural, but it did look a little bit uneven. So, so far so good. I'm pretty sure these will last probably seven to eight years and then I'll have to get them replaced. And with the porcelain, I believe that they can last up to 15 years, but again, you do have to get them replaced. So a lot of people are asking about the pricing and I don't want to give out any of that information because it's a case-by-case -case basis um, but Dr. Hativa is offering phone consultations where you can just video call her and she'll give you pricing based on that but even though her work is excellent and she is a celebrity doctor in Miami her prices are extremely reasonable for what you get and the service has been amazing so I strongly recommend her check out her Instagram I'll link them down below as well so you can contact them for your consultation so I hope that this answered most of your veneers questions. If you guys have any more, go ahead and leave a comment down below or send me a DM and I'll be happy to answer. But of course, you always want to talk to the expert. So go ahead and follow my dentist, Dr. Hativa, right now and she can answer all of those questions for you as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.